I'm not quite sure of the YouTube etiquette when it comes to, uh, you know, this intro. Like, do you have to say, Hi everybody on YouTube, this is Wingnut. It just seems counterproductive to me. But then again, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> everybody so welcome you the viewer that's right well actually be you the viewer uh, to another edition of wingnut oh, god that's not as cheesy as crap anyways uh, so I'm gearing up to go out to night moves which is a car meet in Virginia Beach it is the 18th of March and it looks like it's going to rain but I'm gonna go catch up with another local Norfolk auto vlogger guy's name is OK Ryder. Uh, he's actually, uh, I guess he's more downtown based. I don't think I've, I've probably seen him a couple times, but I've never actually talked to the guy. I uh, just started emailing and, and talking a couple days ago uh, and uh, looking forward to go catch up with him. <sighs> On top of all that, besides the disgusting burp you just heard, I've got my throttle lock. That's right, folks. I broke down and I bought an Atlas throttle lock. We're going to test it out. Fairly uh, fairly solid little piece of thing. It's not a cheap piece of plastic. It's actually stainless steel. It's anodized. It's got a nice burnished finish to it. Uh, feels really stiff, really snug. Holds throttle position uh, perfect in the garage. But now we're uh, giving it a shot. I'm not going to give it a shot through here because the speed limit's so low. And there's lots of stuff going on around me. But uh, yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, also, another bit of news, Project Broken Wing. So all the stuff came in to finish the carburetors, which I will be doing tomorrow. And uh, on top of that, I'll be finishing buttoning up the, uh, uh, the crankcase where I'd worked on the clutch. Clutch uh, was taken apart, cleaned, reassembled, and I will uh, already adjusted it to spec. I uh, gotta put it together and get it on the road. So another announcement is, is the updates for Project Broker Wing, Broken Wing are going to start going only on social media. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means that I'm only going to put updates on social media. Surprise. <laughs> uh, but if you're following social media, you'll see a lot of stuff has been happening this last week. I took a couple days off from work because uh, I have a ridiculous amount of vacation days built up. And I did the hardwood floors in my house. And I have been uh, working on other projects here or there. One of which is Project Broken Wing. So, that's definitely going to social media. So you guys will be able to see updates on that on my Twitter account, which is at the Wingnut, which will be in the description below. And uh, my Facebook page, Zachary Wingnut. Of course, each time, Wingnut is spelled W-H-N, oh, excuse me, <laughs> I can't even spell it. <laughs> it's been my nickname for like 17 years. Uh, it's W-H-I-N-G-N-U-T and uh, yeah so now that we're keeping a pretty good clip if we get over the bumps we're going to give the throttle lock a shot ta-da I have throttle lock and it is maintaining Throttle position, I'm not losing speed. That is outstanding. Now I can talk to you with this hand. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. See, and it's supposedly I can make small friction adjustments. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Man, it looks like it's going to rain. Uh -huh. And if that happens, I'll be putting my liner in to this jacket and setting it up. Now, I haven't changed my throttle position. I am going downhill. I like that throttle lock. That is outstanding. It's going to give my arm a nice break on long rides, which is what I want it for. But the great thing about the uh, Atlas throttle lock is it's universal, which means uh, it fits on this bike. It'll also fit on any other bikes that I decide to put it on. So it's not bike specific. It's not some cheap, flimsy piece of plastic. Uh, it does work on the, the premise of a friction lock. 
you can't override it but it's really really nice and of course it's made in the USA uh, by someone who rides motorcycles so why not you know take the risk and you know and if I don't see why I don't like it now I have to admit though for my rocket 3 and the stock grips it is a bit tight I had to use the smallest pad but it installed in like two minutes flat because uh, internet I probably watched the installation video like a dozen times before I actually bought the damn thing so yeah oh I was wondering why that's not charging I hadn't turned it on so that's going on with that so that, that's pretty much what's happening in the wingnut world in a nutshell um, so I can't meet to catch up with this guy and talk to him and see what's up you know uh, I am trying to get a group ride with a bunch of my uh, Navy buddies uh, they're wanting a group of us to get together a group of us want to get together and do something I don't see anybody's windshield wipers on so that's a good sign it goes from there of course because it is possible that it's going to rain i am of, of wearing my illustrious built waterproof jacket with all of its colors and as always i've got my bright reflective gear in my bag in the event that it does start to rain i want to like make myself more visible and on top of that it is saint patty's day weekend so you know i'm sure there's more than a few people driving impaired i really wish they wouldn't but they're going to catch folks tonight, like they did last night, driving drunk. It's just sad, but it's going to happen. So uh, I am extra paranoid today. As excited as I am about my new toy, and the new tune, and the thing I'm about to go do, I am really, really paranoid about other riders on the, uh, drivers on the road. Uh, on top of that, of course, uh, one other little trinket that I bought here recently is I bought one of those uh, easy locks or quick locks for my uh, helmet underneath to see. And so far, I, I'm it's cool. I ain't got to adjust my helmet every time. Getting off's easy. Getting on, I'm not used to it yet, so it, it takes a hot second. So, uh, yeah. Man, I really hope they don't can't exit this meat tonight really looking forward to it so if you guys uh, aren't from the area and you don't know night moves is a I, I guess you would say it's just a car meetup that's uh, got different sponsors they do it on a rotational basis I don't know if it's monthly or not but uh, I'll put the link to their Facebook page below as well and you can check it out so it's a little of everything kind of like you know run what you brung type of shit uh, of course as always if you go to one of these events don't be the dickhead uh, don't ruin it for everybody else. I'm not going to be doing ridiculous burnouts on my ridiculous motorcycle. And you shouldn't be going out there doing ridiculous burnouts with your ridiculous motorcycle or car or whatever. You know, you know don't start shit. That kind of thing. It's just not, I mean, granted, doing burnouts is fun. Whipping shitties are fun. But um, I'm not in a cage. So I don't feel as comfortable trying to do some bullshit like that. Two, it's illegal and I'm old enough now to realize this shit costs money that I don't have and three I think I'm a little bit more growing up than that nowadays now flipping the throttle to get around a car uh, you know that's just getting around a car but I, I am not trying to go out there and show my ass and I would ask that you know if you hear about these events or things that you want to do from me Please don't do that. You know, respect everybody that's there. Uh, even if they come in as some broken down piece of shit, you know, smoking, busted up thing. They may have just got it yesterday. They, it may be a project that works. It may have been it was passed down from grandpa, grandma, or dad, or mom, or somebody that was close to them. It might have been because they bought it because it was a really cool car to them, man. Who gives a shit? If they roll in there with an AMC Gremlin, they show them respect. At least they rolled in there. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just a bit old-fashioned. And 
plus I'm kind of I, I kind of dig the AMC Gremlin. So yeah, hmm, that was awkward. <laughs> Yeah, so I uh, haven't ha taken the bike back to work here recently, so I don't know if I'm going to get any more of those stickers. But I, I have a feeling when I do, whoever's doing it's going to. And I swear to God, if it's Pretty Ricky, if it's Pretty Ricky that's doing this, I know you're watching. I can hear you breathing. I'm going to paint a bright pink PR right on the gas tank of your motorcycle that you left at my house. It's gonna look good too, like I'm gonna pinstripe it on. Like, yeah. You know? So if it's you, better hope I never find out. And if it's not you, I'm probably still gonna paint a bright pink PR on your gas tank, anyways, because, well, that would be a mean thing to do. And. Yeah, nah, I can't do that. Unless you've done something to me. The voice in my head is telling me to turn. <laughs> GPS. It's whispering in my ear. Go! Oh, yay! Oh, and next weekend. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, uh, the coming up weekend on the 25th of March, the uh, George Washington CPOA will be doing a car wash fundraiser at Smoky Bones. In Virginia Beach. That's right. Your local George Washington Chiefs Mess will be washing cars for donations at the Smoky Bones in Virginia Beach. Virginia. And everybody behind me now in traffic thinks I'm a lunatic. If you like what I gotta say, you've been listening, subscribe, you know, give me a like, give me a dislike. I don't care. It's on you. Have a great one.